Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this feast of the archangels, Gabriel, Raphael, and Michael. And the opening prayer for this Mass says, O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human. And so all of the angels and all human persons were created and are created according to a plan of God. God has some plan and order for creation and he has entrusted to each angel and each human person a particular mission, a particular task to carry out in his divine plan according to his providence. But he has given both the angels and us a free will to either say yes and cooperate or to say no and not cooperate, to do our own thing. And so in the beginning of creation, the angels were put to the test on whether they wanted to lovingly serve God, obey him, and do his will, or not to serve him. It's the cry, famous cry of Satan, I will not serve. And so the angels made their choice and it's been revealed to us the names of three of the angels, archangels, who made the choice to serve God. They gave their yes to God and to his will to accept the mission and the task that was assigned to, him, to them. That's St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael. And now there's the, the famous saying from John Milton's Paradise Lost that it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. And I don't know the specifics of that phrase, but just thinking about that, you can see how on the surface that might have an appeal, right? Well, reign or serve. Well, I'd rather reign. But you see the falsity in that, right? The idea that being separated from God, doing your own thing, you'll actually be reigning. When in fact, the opposite is true. You separate yourself from God and you do your own thing, you end up becoming a slave. You don't live in the truth and you become a slave in hell. Okay? Where instead, the scripture talks about those who are faithful to the end will receive the crown of life. Why do we receive a crown? Because we actually participate in the kingship of Christ, in his reign. So we reign with God. So there's a similar phrase, it just came to my mind, the, the song of Billy Joel, right? Where he says, I'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. You know, it's kind of a similar thing, right? Well, of course, I'd rather laugh and be joyful and happy than cry and be sad. But that statement is false because it presumes that there is happiness in sin in error, in doing your own thing, and not God's will. That is totally false. Sure, a sinner can experience passing pleasure and a, and a laugh, but he cannot experience true freedom and authentic joy. Totally false. And so, Let's follow the example of the angels. You see, our choice is being played out in time, where the angels had one moment in which they made their choice, and that choice was fixed. Ours is being played out in time. We need to make this choice every day, okay? To love God and to serve him, and then to reign with him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.